What if I told you that throwing on the pottery wheel was a lot like going to the gym? You're dreaming of getting in shape and you're new to it and you wanna get a six pack, but you're not gonna get a six pack by lifting for a week, not even probably for a few months. It might come really naturally to you, it might not, but the main ingredient in all of this is just gonna be practice combined with some technique. Throwing pottery, it's muscle memory mixed in with techniques. And here's what I do to make sure that I can throw a consistent piece. And you might be sabotaging yourself if you're skipping one of these steps. The first one is wedging. I would not recommend throwing directly out of the bag. Even if you are a pro, play be crazy. It has a memory. So wedge that memory out of it. This is ram's head wedging. It's a very traditional technique. And then I also always weigh my piece of clay. So if I'm doing a set, I'll make sure that they're all the same weight. Pro tip, keep notes of the weights that you use so that you can remake them later. And then finally get yourself a measuring tool. I use this, it's a ruler. I've exposed myself. Measure when you're throwing so they're all the same.